Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please inform me if you have any problem from your side. As you see today, we have a topic and the topic is Jesus never said he is God. Allah, he said he is God. You know, since I was a kid, I used to suffer from things around me. And one of the things I used to suffer from stupidity. Stupidity is amazing. And the first thing you notice in a stupid person is his questions. His questions. And today we'll show you a very clean sign of stupidity. You see, when somebody, he say, 10 reasons Jesus cannot be God. 10 reasons. What comes to your mind is to believe that those people believe in reasoning. Because yes, the title says 10 reasons. So if you believe in reasoning. So if you believe in reasoning, let us study reasoning, my friend. So what is the reason to believe Allah is God? Because he will give me a lot of women who they are naked waiting for sex. That is a reason to believe is God. And it's a promise we never saw if it's going to happen or not. What is the reason to believe that Allah is God? Because you do not know how he created the baby? Or maybe he because you don't remember which one he created first? The stars, the sky, or the earth, and the trees, and the water? What is the reason to believe Allah is God? Because he's a sexual God? Who promised me a private part will never go soft or limp? When you speak about reasoning and you are a Muhammadan, do you believe really in reasoning? What is the reasoning that a baby child, if he is born in Islam, he might go to hell still? Why? Because Allah, he decreed where he will go before he created him. What is the reasoning when Allah, he says, if you don't commit sin, I will destroy you? I find it very funny when a Muslim is speak about reasoning. Very funny and very silly. Now, I'm going to open my Skype, and if you are a Muslim, uh, sorry, uh, Abdulism, I uh, mean a Muhammadan, I mean a person who believes in reasoning, I want you to call me and give me one reason to believe Allah is God. And by the way, when the Muslim they say that Jesus is not God, and nowhere he said that, I mean, from the first verse to the, in the Bible to the last verse is speaking about Jesus being God. And this is one of the reasons to believe that this God, Allah, he made you lose your mind. Even the Quran says that the Christian believe that Jesus is God. So how the Christian believe that Jesus is God if Jesus never said he is God as you claim? I mean, that's stupid by itself. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody believe in somebody, but that somebody don't, be, don't, don't him himself, he did not say he is what he is or what, or what he claimed to be? So when you Muslim believe in Allah, the first thing you see a Muslim speak about, he's proud. Okay, proud about what? We believe in monotheism. What does that mean? Well, what does that mean? Monotheism. I have one zucchini in my house. Is that God? So if you believe in oneness of God, does not make you that supreme? You are better than others? Okay, let us say there is a guy who believed that he has 10,000 gods. But they are true gods. Maybe they are true. And you have one God, but your God is false. So what, what the difference is going to make if it's one or two or three? The question is, is his gods true? Is your God is true? It doesn't matter how many they are. Secondly, the God of the Quran himself, he says, if you want to have sex, he will have partner from ourself. So how Allah is one, but yet he will take partner from ourself. Is he a transgender? Is Allah having double sex? Because how he will have sex with himself? Because he said, if we want to take a partner, we will take it from within ourself. And partner here is about a wife. The word in Arabic used is lahu. Lahu mean a female. And the Quran, it shows a very savage language, actually. 
because the word lahu mean fun so if we take a fun women for Allah is a fun is not even a wife he didn't say if I decide to take a wife he said if I take a fun my Skype is open if you are a Muslim who believe that Allah is God well here we go show me how Allah can be God from the first page in the Quran to the last page of the Quran, I see nothing but jokes. This is God talking. The funny, the Muslim, they say nobody can make Quran like the Quran. So why Uthman burned all the other Quran if the Quran is one Quran? And why Omar he says Allah he agreed with me in three things ten things five things there's many stories Which mean Allah he took the words of Omar and he make it Quran as it is And why the Arab they laugh at the Quran and isn't it you Muslim you say that the Arab they kick Muhammad from Mecca Which mean the Quran was not really something Even to acknowledge as something unique Hmm so who is a Muslim would like to call me and show me something good in this book to prove to me that Allah is God I do not need by the way to prove to you that Jesus is God because you Muslims when you debate me if Jesus is God or not you just admit it that Jesus is so high to the point we are debating about him being God you see how good is Jesus he is so good to the point mankind debating is he God that's how good he is isn't that beautiful isn't this alone for us as a Christian to be so proud about the Messiah that a pagan like the followers of Muhammad they come to us and they want to debate us if Jesus is God or not but they cannot really put him down for he is so high he's so unique he's so beautiful he's so wise not so stupid like the Quran words go open any page from what Jesus says in the Bible and open any page of what Allah said in the Quran and you will die laughing to comparing between them we cannot do that <clears throat> so from the title of the debate when the Muslim debating us about if Jesus is God or not that's mean Jesus is the winner already the title itself is a proving who is Jesus Jesus is so high so noble so unique so beautiful to the point we are debating about what we are not debating about him being man or not we are not debating about him being good or not we are not debating about him being a prophet or not we are debating about him being God or not that's how good he is So to make it simple and clear, we are debating about Christ who is so good to the point people believe is God. And some they are not sure. And Muslims, they are blindly following my man, his name is Muhammad, who never met Jesus, who have no ethical value. Muhammad is a very horrible man. I mean, if you go and see what he said, what he did. From marrying children, to raping women, to kidnapping, to asking for money you know torturing people putting nails in the eyes of people cutting hands asking his son to divorce his wife so can he have her in the bed i mean name one thing about muhammad is even the muslims accuse him that he stole an underwear so how we can compare <clears throat> even his followers accuse him that he is a thief he stole clothing which means I cannot trust Muhammad if I'm a Muslim to come to my bedroom because he will take two things from my bedroom either my underwear or my wife based on Islamic reference not based on my stories Muhammad he go to the house of his own son he find the wife alone he flirt with the wife Allah make a verse for him saying why you hide what you have in your heart I mean come on you want the woman have you have ever heard of a God encouraging 
a man to flirt and to date and to express his lust to his own son wife that is Allah and Allah said to him why why Muhammad you are hiding what is in your heart for this woman why why you say to your son keep your wife huh why but you want her have you ever heard of a disgusting ethical like this so when you speak about Muhammad being a prophet and Allah being God you need to explain to me how Allah can be God but yet he encourage a man to go after his own son wife you see the God of the Bible when David he commit sin and he went after a wife of someone else God he put all his you know his anger on him and David was a crying for God asking for forgiveness in the Quran it is the opposite story we don't care how Muhammad looked like this is silly let us be adult please how Muhammad looked like who care how Jesus looked like we don't care but we have to take into consideration because Islam is a racist cult Islam focus in Muhammad as a white man this is why if you go in the hadith you will see the Muslims speaking about the whiteness of his belly bomb the whiteness of his under under arm uh, uh, I mean <laughs> have you ever heard of such a cult like this because it's a white supremacist cult for us I don't care really if Jesus is an Asian or he is an African or he is in the Middle Eastern as a look he is my Lord doesn't matter he is the Lord of all if Jesus is an African he is a black he came as a black person he is not my Lord absolutely he is so what is the look of Jesus we don't care but Muslims they care this is why actually there's a hadith that says the one who say the prophet is a black kill him the one who says the prophet is a black kill him no court no question just for saying that you will be killed Do you see the whiteness? I mean, what this hadith is about. If those people are not racist, why I need to know how the whiteness of what? What is the whiteness is showing? Ah, brother, this is a proof that he's a prophet. Brother, under his arm is white, brother. Absolutely, he must be a prophet. And tons of stories like this the whiteness of his belly bomb the whiteness of his legs the whiteness between his legs I mean you name it and then we find even the Quran as a racist book speaking about Allah making all non-muslims black and all Muslims white is that true Hmm? Is that true? Allah will make us black and white. The bad ones are the black according to Muhammad and the white ones are the good ones according to Muhammad. That is disgusting. Isn't it Muhammad who said that Allah created the white people to go to heaven and he created the black people to go to hell? Am I lying? Is there, is there any Muslim want to say this is a lie? And then the Muslim, they will quote for you something. It's called the last sermon, which is there's no proof of it. 
it's a total fabrication because it's totally against the Quran. Any Muslim? And now we have no Muslim trying to contact us. How sad. Who of you have the link about the hadith of Muhammad saying that black people will go to hell and white people will go to heaven? Don't forget to post it down in the text in the chat later or in the in the comment so people can see. How this is in the world can be from God. Muhammad definitely black. No, Muhammad was not black. I don't like silly, silly, uh, silly comment. When you, where do you get this from? How he's a black? Arab are not a black. I mean, come on. What's wrong with people? How he is an Arab and he is black. I th and you know, like there is some some people in uh, in America they call themselves like uh, the Nation of Islam, whatever. I mean, this is a racist cult uh, movement, like Muhammad, but it's based on racism, like Muhammad. So they claim that Muhammad was a black. How is a black as an Arab? I am an Arab. I never saw an Arab man. He is black. Never. Arab are in Asia, which means we are Asian. In the top of that, we are not black. Black are people, they are from Africa. As simple as that. However, for me, I am not rejecting Muhammad because of his color. It's the same reason I accept my Lord not because of his color, but because of what he is about. If Jesus is black, he is still my God. If he is Asian, he is my God. If he is a white, he is my God. Doesn't matter. Jesus is born between the Jews, so he should be look the like same as the Jews. As simple as that. If Jesus was born in the Philippines, he would look Filipinos. What's the problem? But as you see here, we have a God who believe that good people are white and bad people are black. And this is absolutely disgusting. Me, myself, I met a lot of wonderful black people who they are amazing and they are very trustworthy. There is bad and there is good between everybody. I went to Asia. I saw a lot of Asian wonderful people. But does it mean that Asian, all of them, they are wonderful? No. Does it mean all the white people are wonderful? No. All the black, everywhere there is bad and there is good. Racism, my friend, is a disease and it's against Christianity. However, it's not against Islam. Even though Islam tried to present itself as it is, a religion make all mankind united. But the fact, as you see, even Allah himself, he claimed that the white ones are the good ones. If there is any Muslim here would like to prove me wrong, please feel free. Any Muslim? Nobody? Look like we are short of Muslims these days. Hmm? And the one of the funny things about Muslims that they take what is in their religion and they place it on us. As an exam example, the Muslim, they say Christians are pagan, but we are not the one who kiss a black stone. We are not the one who believe that the black stone is the right hand of God. 
It is Islam. It is not us who go around the Kaaba. It is not us who pray in the direction of the Kaaba. It is Islam. Allah Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Yeah, right. What he said? Allah created Adam when he had created him and he struck his right shoulder and there emitted from it white of spring as if there were ants, white ants. So this is how Allah created the white people. Science, this is science. And he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black of spring as if it were shirkle. Then he said, to those who've been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise, who is the one from the right shoulder? The white, white ones. <clears throat> and I don't mind. And then he said, to those who have been emitted from his left shoulder, go to hell, and I don't mind. And this is your Islamic website. And this is your hadith. And this is Jami al Turmudi, hadith 38. And this is the link. So Muslim will not say we are making things up. Here we go. I will post it in the chat. How many of you will save it? How many of you will save it, even will take a snapshot? Because I will not be surprised if the Muslims take this hadith from their website. How many of you promise to save it? So you can share it around. I hope you people will do. Because later you will text me, say, Christian Prince, can you give me this reference? Christian Prince, if you open my email, you will be scared. Honest to God, I get hundreds of emails where I can find this reference. So, so why I'm staying with you for hours and hours every day? That's mean what? You are sit and watch and listen, drink coffee and tea, and I'm posting a reference? Save them. Now it's time for saving. Here we need to understand something. Anyone notice where the white people are born from or made from? Anyone? Where, where the white people are made from? Anybody can tell me in the text, let us see who is concentrating with me. The white people are from where? I'm asking because I want people to active with us and to remember later. Where is the white from the right shoulder? What the right shoulder mean? What the right shoulder mean? You see, you have here to take things into like a to deep study. This is not just a talk. This is a guy who claimed to be a prophet of God, and God told him that Adam Muhammad was not there when Adam was created, right? So obviously he got this from God. God himself he told him this information. So when Muhammad he says the white people are coming from the right shoulder, do you know what does that mean? That's mean they are the right ones always very racist cult so they are born from the right and the black people they are born from the left so you are made wrong and they are made right this is the point are you getting it so this supremacist white supremacist cult teach that a white one is because just he because he's white he's born from the right shoulder and he is born to go to heaven that's what he's made for he's white how oh, you can tell me that this is god teaching and how you go to african american or african or anyone or asian and you say to them oh islam is for everybody right are you sure Islam is for everybody? Are we making this a story? Is that our website? Is this something the Christian Prince is fabricated? No. And if you join Islam and you are black, 
Muhammad he have a solution for you Allah will make you white <laughs> actually this is not the case I'm just joking the Quran says that Allah will make all bad ones black at the end of the day which mean black is the color of sin according to Islam Do you remember when Muhammad he said one of you once or a Muslim he said to me I think that okay you say that Islam is a racist cult but yet you said that we Muslims kiss the black stone so how we are against the black yet our our holy stone is black That's a very good question, but this is based on ignorance. The black stone proving to us again that Islam is a very racist cult. Why? Because according to Islam, the black stone never was or been black. rather than or it was it does find the hadith it was very white and the sin of mankind made him or made that stone black so again Muhammad confirming that white is the color of good and sin is the color of a black read it the messenger of Allah said the black stone descended from paradise and it was more white than milk then it was blackened by sin of the children of Adam so what this is teaching us Muhammad saying that you do sin you go black and this is absolutely disgusting how this sin how this stone which is whiter than milk became black sin so if you are not convinced that Islam is a racist chippet cult because this is chippety by the way first of all who in the world don't believe that there is a stone and this is stone sent by God and this is stone when we kiss it it suck our sin and then it turn from white to black because that's mean that sin is something physical correct that's literally stupid that's literally stupid and to believe in such a thing I feel sorry for you that's mean you are stupid too for this is cannot be true Do we have any Muslim he have any comment? Anything you want to say? And here by the way, I mean <laughs> when the Quran says that Allah created the white one from the right shoulder and the black one from the left shoulder. What about you, Asian? Where are you created from? <laughs> Unbelievable. This God is super funny and silly. Hmm? Christian priests they wear black. This is a tradition have nothing to do with religion. Christian priests Jesus never wear black, never wear you know wearing more clothes. Those you know priests they wear clothes. Everybody wear his own clothes. Whatever churches they have a tradition and they uh, uh, mostly they 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 keep the, the same clothes of what they used to wear before. You know it's a tradition thing. But black and white clothes have nothing to do with religion.
Do we have any Abdul want to say anything? Any Abdulism? Trump supporter, you are fake. What this? Uh, what our topic have to do with with the Trump? You idiot. Somebody, somebody, he been dropped by a jellyfish in the chat. What our topic have to do with the Trump? You donkey. Somebody told you that here we are talking about a guy. His name is Saint Trump. Actually, Trump always support Islam. And I will prove it to you. Here we go. He don't want to put any penalty in Turkey. His army in Saudi Arabia, defending them. He is doing the same as Obama, arming the Mujahideen in Syria. He is an idiot, the same as the rest of the American. What we have to do with the Trump now? So you could not answer about your prophet, and now you switch to Trump. Trump peace upon him. However, Trump is not like your prophet. At least he don't. He's not a child molester. He did not go and attack the neighbors and took their wives. What we have to do with the Trump? Leave Trump alone. Here we are talking about God and religion. Any Muhammadan want to say something? What is God in Arabic? Is it Allah? No. God in Arabic, there is many words. There is Rab, there is Ilahi. There is, but for us, you know, uh, Arabic, you know, when we speak in Arabic, I, I, I'm sure you, you know, you, you know, when I say to me that in the Arabic translation Bible, it says the word Allah. So what? This is translation. I can make a translation, call him Buddha. But that will not make the translation accurate. This is a translation. The question is, in the original Bible, do we have Allah? No. Do we have Allah in the Hebrew? No. Do we have Allah in the Aramaic? No. So this is a silly question. Secondly, our differentiation between between God and not God is not because of the name of your God. You know, a Muslim are very, very, very funny people. As like is as an example, he have a donkey. He want to put a sign of Mercedes in the top of the donkey, and now he want to convince me that his donkey is Mercedes. You change the name of your donkey, you call him Mercedes. Still, is a donkey. So our problem with your God is not because of his name. But because he is a donkey. And the proof in the front of you in the screen. Let us say, for the sake of argument, you Muslim, you change the name of your God and you call him Jehovah. The, the, the same as Jehovah's Witnesses. Still, you are a cult. Jehovah's Witnesses are no Christian and they will not be saved. But yet they call their God Jehovah. So what? Still, they are not Christians and they are not saved. So you tell me the name of your God. Who cares about the name of your God? And by the way, the name of your God is not Allah. It is Lah. But because you're ignorant, you do not know. And if we ask you what the word Allah means, you will say Allah knows best. As long as you mention to me the name of your God, can you tell me what Allah means? You do not know. Why? Because simply you are a pagan following a pagan religion. You carry the name of from pagan people before you. What Allah mean? Who is a Muslim can tell me what Allah mean? They don't know. Potato tomato. Who is Allah? What Allah mean? You do not know. And to prove to you that Allah is nothing but a pagan God, isn't it the Muslim they say that the Arab before Islam they were pagan? Huh? They say that, right? All Muslims, they say to us, the pagan of Mecca, the pagan of Mecca, the pagan of Mecca, but, 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 but well, they will not tell you that the pagan of Mecca, they worship Allah. Exactly. But yet they are pagan. So Allah was one of many pagan gods. All of them, they worship Allah. And this is why the Quran called them Mushrikun or Mushrikeen. What does that mean? They associate gods with Allah. So Allah is one of the gods. 
Hmm? Of Mecca. You're just one of them. Look what the Quran says. Chapter 2, verse 105. Neither those who disbelieve from the people of the scriptures. And here notice, even the silly yellow pages of Muhammad call us what? The people of the scriptures. We are the only one have scriptures. I dare you to show me a most clear mistake in the Quran. Mr. Ahmed, why you don't call me and uh, we will make a challenge life on here. What do you think, guys? Can Ahmed call me? Why you don't call me, Mr. Ahmad? And we will make the challenge live and open, and that will be very exciting for everybody. Kabich? What do you think, guys? Mr. Ahmad, he have the courage to call me? And not only that, I want you to show me something is not mistake in the Quran, and I will prove it to be a mistake. Anything. What do you think? Here we go. I'm not going even to pick up the mistake. You pick up pick up the mistake for me, which means you prove to me like the Muslim. They say there is science in the Quran as an example. You choose one of them, and I will prove that what is science is a mistake. Do you accept the challenge? I dare you. What do you mean you dare me? Everything in the Quran is a stupid, my my friend. What about the sunset in murky water? What about Allah, the Lord of the two east and the two west? What about Allah do not know how the baby is created? What about Allah do not remember which one he created first, the stars or the trees and the water? So one verse he says the trees are first, and the other chapter he says the stars was first. Everything in the Quran is wrong. So when you say to me, I dare you, well, I dare you to call me. And we will do it live. I dare you, all of you, to call me, and we will do it here right now. What do you say, my friend? No, don't talk about the flying carpet, by the way. Flying carpet, uh, because this is a, uh, uh, it's my family property now. My, my family, they bought it from Prophet Solomon. And my dad, he used it to carry. Uh, his uh, his business uh, equipment, you know, he uh, he was importing uh, uh, versions uh, around the world. You know, he signed a contract with the Allah. Uh, he have a manufacturer. He make uh, make versions uh, from uh, plastic, and he send them to Allah. And then Allah he breathed into them, and he made them fully creatures, women. A flying carpet can carry 600,000 chairs. And you are telling me, show me, I dare you. Prophet Solomon, he heard the speech of the end. Since when the ants they talk, the end they communicate, I agree. But they are deaf and they are mute. They don't talk. They communicate either by vibration or by chemical. But the Quran says he heard her speech. Or what about the verse we are seeing here where Allah, he says that Allah, he told Moses, there's a guy, he was killed. <clears throat> hmm? A guy, he got killed. The Jews, they come back to Suleiman, sorry, to Moses. And then uh, they told him, uh, you know, we don't know who killed this guy. Uh, so Allah told uh, Moses, okay, get some beef and hit the guy with the beef, strike him, and he will wake up. He will come back. And this is how Allah, he raised people from death. This is how Allah, he raised people from death by hitting them by beef. Have you ever heard? And then the Muslim, they made an article saying heart massage. The guy was killed by the sword, you, you dummy, you, you liar. What heart massage? The guy is dead. He was killed. Not his heart stop. They make it about heart massage. Brother, do you know that the Quran speak about heart massage? Do you see heart there? Do you see the word massage there? It says, beat him with the part of the beef. And the guy was slain. 
the guy, he don't have a heart attack. He been slain by a sword. I dare you, brother. Hey, brother and sister, did the person say to me, I dare you to find anything is not correct in the Quran. And I agree with him. And I told him, brother, you get a point. You got the point. Actually, you get one hundred point. Because the Quran is absolutely a miracle. And nobody has the Quran like the Quran. As an example, today we have ABI. And if somebody kills somebody, you call the police. And the police, they come and they ask a question. Who was here? Who was there? Do you have security camera? Do you have witnesses? Brother, Allah do not need witnesses. Allah is not Musa. A brother Musa. Go to the butcher and get him some beef. And he got the beef. And he didn't start beating the cow. Oh, sorry, this is not the cow. This is what the sheep. And he ate the cow. Mm. And then, brother, the guy, he came back from life and he told them the one who killed me, his name is the Christian prince. And he died again. And this is a true story. And this is a problem by scientifically. Actually, there's a scientist, his name is Mayama Aydulahi Yama from Japan. He said this is absolutely correct. And this is a very, 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 very approved by science. And this, sir, thank you very much for asking the question. And next, please. And I'm sexy and you know it. What the heck? This is God. This is God. If this is God, what is stupidity is about? And then you bring me Zach and Nag. Oh, what about you bring me Mimi? Hey, silence me. Show me. Answer me. I thought he's a chocolate. He's going to melt in the stage. What the heck is that? Hey, call me. I will silence you. Give me your Skype. I will call you. Let us see how good you are. Any Abdul? Any Abdulism? Hmm? I speak like donkey. Hmm. Well, I speak like donkey. I speak like camel. By the way, don't talk about donkeys. Your prophet, he have a conversation with his donkey. He asked him, do you like females? I mean, imagine for the first time a human being his name is Muhammad speaking to an animal he will ask him do you like females even when he talked to animals he speak about sex and guess what the donkey his name is Yafur and he was owned by a Jew which means Muhammad he stole the donkey after he killed the Jew the donkey Yafur he told him huh, 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 I don't like females what the heck Is that true story or making things up? Any Abdul? Yeah, Abdul, you know, this, this donkey, you don't like females. I can't trust this donkey around. I cannot trust Muhammad. And not only that, just to show you the science of Allah and the science of his prophet. Donkeys and roosters, they have a special place for Allah. How? Read with me carefully. Abu Huraira, look like we have a zoo. Huraira means the father of the cats. Abu Huraira, Abu means father. Huraira, cats. You have cats. Abu Huraira reported that Allah Messenger saying, Will you listen to the crowing of the cock? Cuckoo, cuckoo. Ask Allah for his favor. As it says, angels, what the heck? And when you listen to the brain of the donkey, seek refuge in Allah from Satan, for it's seen as Satan. What? Like what? What? A brother, when Muhammad first time he saw 
an angel isn't him who asked Khadija to tell him if he's an angel or not and Khadija she asked him to sit in the top of her and she did the striptease what about you as the donkey bring a donkey if the donkey start bearing that's mean he is the shaitan or bring a rooster I mean what this story is about that is science my friend and now I know why villagers they have donkey and they have a rooster together it looked like this is the alarm system I need four donkeys to be in the four corners of my house and four roosters please that is really intelligent my friend if you want to know if you this shaitan is coming or not you do not need any of this just to bring your mother-in-law no angels will come by and no shaitan will come by just to bring her home i'm just joking hello what the heck with this this is a religion and this is a prophet look at the wisdom look at the wisdom this is muhammad i think when muhammad when he used to walk they used to put a tray under him because he dripped with them honestly he dripped and that bills up by the way explain why the hadith says that the angel he stuffed him with wisdom do you remember he was stuffed by wisdom he's not like others he was stuffed literally they cut his chest and they stuffed wisdom here we go the story here in front of you hmm? they come here brother and they cut him Jibril he took a charge of him brother and they cut his chest Jibril cut open from here to here throw to his uh, testicles and then he took all the material out what is the material I will tell you the engine the jacuzzi uh, the turtle uh, I mean, there's a lot of things in the in the in the belly of the prophet. I mean, what material? Everything inside, everything from his stomach and his chest. Actually, you know what? Why I'm wasting my time? Let me show you the cartoon, because you know, people, most of you are in my age. You are very young, and you do not understand unless you see something in images. Hmm? Let me show you uh, some of what happened exactly, so you might understand. Maybe you understand. This is a brother. What happened? Isn't it a beautiful brother? He took everything from his stomach and he washed it in the water of Zum Zum, and then he put it back. And after he put it back. He brought a golden tray, contain a gold ball full of belief and wisdom. Yes, brother. Yes, brother, in the Middle East, we buy wisdom in dishes. Not only we know how to make falafel, even wisdom we can make it for you as a dish, brother. And if you ask Zach and Nick about this, he will come for you with the golden tray explanation. Hey, brother, Peter. Our prophet, he have a special kind of wisdom. And this wisdom, it cannot be found anywhere. And I cannot explain to you in any language, including Urdu. Because this is so beautiful. The end of the meal, he brought with him like a waitress or like a waiter. You go to the restaurant and you find somebody carrying a big tray. Especially if you go to Mexico. They put it in the top of their head. And then, brother, he put it in the table. And get, brother, what in the table? golden tree brother and it's full of wisdom and full of faith and then brother he told the prophet open your mouth and the prophet he did not open his mouth so the real he stepped in his foot and he made him open his mouth violently and this is why he explained to us that the first time the prophet he saw the real he squeezed him obviously he was trying to make open his mouth and the prophet don't understand why that's so deep <clears throat> that's so deep so he brought a dish of wisdom and belief, even belief come in dishes. What do you want more? 
I mean, why you are not convinced with Islam? What's wrong with you? You should convert immediately. This is the only religion believe that God send faith and believe and wisdom in dishes. And then what he do with them? He stuff his throat as if it's a hamburger. Jibreel brother, and then Jibreel brother stuffed his chest and the throat, blood vessel with it. What the heck? <clears throat> Are you really not convinced yet that Prophet Muhammad is a prophet? If you are not convinced, really you have a problem. You clown, you need a life, preach your corrupt book. You see, Ahmad, when you say my corrupt book, you are talking about the corrupt book of Allah. Because according to Islam, Ahmad, the book is sent by Allah. So when the Muslim they say <clears throat> that the book of the Christians are corrupt, they are being silly because we don't have a book. This is the book of God. And the Muslim claim that the Injil, which means the gospel of Jesus, is sent by Allah. So what you are saying to us, brother, you are spanking your God, saying that this God, he sent the book, but he cannot protect it. Hmm? And the funny, your God, he says, hey, Christians, follow the Bible. So how we are corrupted the Bible, but yet your God, Allah says, follow the Bible. If it's corrupt. <laughs> what a dummy religion. <clears throat> so when a Muslim, he speak about the Bible being corrupt, he is spanking his God because he's speaking about his God, sending books, but he cannot protect his books. Okay, so what's my problem? That's an accusation against your God, not mine. Yeah, Allah, he this is what they are saying to you. They are saying to you that the Bible of Allah corrupted. So what's my problem? You know, a Muslim is a copy-paste person you know they don't even know what they are talking about their tongue is speed their brain uh, sorry they don't use the brain and this is why they don't dare to call me here we go I'm live on air who in the who wanna call me may they may they we are desperately looking for a a, a, a Muslim apologist I don't know even how to say it this is how complicated it is Especially if it's a Muslim, the one who want to debate me. They are so smart. You can call me, bring your scholar, and you can call 10 friends. Still, you cannot debate me, and I am here live on air. Apologist. Thank you, uh, Islam versus humanity. Thank you for, here we go. He gave me the word. This guy, he think I do not know what the word. Brother, we are the Arab. Uh, brother, we are the one who taught you English. I think you brother. This is Shakespeare. This is the real name of Shakespeare. He is not an English person. He is an Arab. And his real name is Shakespeare and he's a Muslim. Even Shakespeare, even if Shakespeare is a Muslim. And his name is Shakespeare. This is what Al Qazafi said. True story. Anyone is famous, he die after he died, they make him Muslim. Even Allah and Muhammad, he made Alexander the Great Muslim. And he put him in the Quran and he made him the guy with the two horn. And why he have two horn? Anyone remember why? Have you ever heard of a God? Call somebody, the guy with the two horn. Why? He's a goat. What's his name? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? The guy with the two horn. Maybe he's a cow. Maybe he's a deer. Oh, buddy. Oh, boy. And you have dual. They are asking you about the man with the two horn. <laughs> I will tell you about him. You are right. <laughs> Allah is evidently he is going to tell us about him. He's a historian, Allah. He is the best historian. Hey. 
how are you Kevin say hello to the Serbian people I love them really I love Serbian people they are very they are they are they are they are a truly a true true men I really support Serbian people heroes any Mohammedan what do you think of Ibn Sina I don't know who is Ibn Sina there's Ibn Sina there's this guy who called him Ibn Sina, from history and there's a guy supposedly have a uh, channel I don't know anyone somebody named don't tell me somebody named etc he can call me call me you know all the Muslims want to debate me but they cannot find me and I am here live on air every day I mean do you see how hard it is to find me my Skype is open and yet the Abdulism followers they cannot find me isn't it this is fishy for you you don't need to say oh, call me should I play for you the song call me baby there's a guy he challenged you he posted a video on YouTube saying I challenge the Christian brands okay call him is Jesus God or son of God you know Ahmad this is a very silly stupid question but we know what we will ask Allah because Allah have an answer for you if we go to the Quran I hope you will not say Allah is a stupid Allah in the Quran he answered you saying the following I hope you will not say Allah is being stupid here hmm? <clears throat> do you see what Allah says what the Christian they believe Allah saying that they have certainly disbelieved who say that Allah is a Christ so why you don't ask your God Allah how come he do not know what the Christian believe what about you ask the same question to Allah Allah do though the Christian believe that Jesus is God or he's son of God because obviously your God Allah is confused Are you there, Ahmad, the dead terrorist? You don't want from the Quran. Why? The Quran is rejected by you now? It's a corrupt book. You know, we as a Christian, when we say that Jesus is the Son of God, simply we believe in the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So Jesus is God. When we say He's a Son of God, simply we are talking about the person who is Jesus the Christ who come down to this earth. That was it's meant by the Son of God. Let me ask you. According to the Quran, Jesus is a son of who? Who is a Muslim when I answer me? Who is the father of Jesus? Guess what? Even in the stupid Quran, Jesus is a son of God. And I can prove it very easy. Who is, who is the one who made Mary carry a person? His name is Jesus. The Muslim will say right away, Allah okay the one who made my mother carry me he is my father who is the one who made Mary carry Jesus the Muslims say Allah so who is the father of Jesus in Islam isn't it silly to say he have no father Oh, you will say he is the same Adam you silly no not not same as Adam this is stupid statement because Adam was created from dust and the Quran says in chapter 25 verse number 54 and we made everyone after Adam from sexual relationship everyone which is exactly marriage was Jesus from marriage No, so where he is coming from? Was Adam first man made should your God be is more old than Jesus? This is very silly of you because you do not know the Bible. Christians, is it true that the Bible says that everything was made by him and for him, which is Jesus? Isn't it Jesus says I am the Alpha and the Omega? Isn't it Jesus says before Abraham I am? Which means the existence of Jesus have nothing to do with his birth. 
So my friend, because you're an ignorant, I feel sorry for you. I advise you to drink camel urine in the morning twice a day, and that will help you to understand better because this is the recipe of your prophet, and I hope you will not say it's disgusting. And yet they say to us where Jesus says I'm God, how he can be before Abraham. And not only that, isn't it Jesus? He said to the Jews, What do you say of a Christ? They said he is a son of David. What Jesus said, What if he's a son of David? Then how come David called him God? Call him Jehovah. Any Muslim can answer? Even David worshiped Jesus, the Christ. Hmm? Do we have any serious Muslim or only kids? Let us see what Jesus said. And I hope you will not cry for what Jesus said. It's very, very, very bad news for you. John, chapter 8. Everyone read the chapter 8 of John, please. And you will see that Jesus saying, I am the living God. The light of the world whoever follow me shall not walk in darkness but shall find the light of life he is the life he is the alpha he is the omega he is the beginning he is the end and yet the dummy they say to you where jesus says i'm god worship me i am the living god i am the living god how many times jesus need to repeat it to make a Muslim say, oh, I saw it in the Bible. Jesus says that. And then Jesus, he spoke to the Jews. What Jesus said to them, read. Before Abraham would exist, I am the living God. And actually, this is why the Jewish, they wanted to crucify Jesus, because simply, he's saying, I'm God. Do we have any Mohammedan? If free, I understand you are so dead, but serious, I don't think so. If you are serious, call me. So I agree with you about you are so dead. How, by the way, have you ever heard of a cult that a person, he go in the grave, and there's the three angels, they will come to him, they will ask him three questions. Who is your God? He say Allah. If you don't say Allah, will hit you with the hammer in your head. Is that religion? Is it true that your God Allah, uh, Aka Muhammad said that Allah will torture you in the grave because of the piss? Piss? I hope that news will not piss you off. Is that true or making things up? Look at this. Look at this. Unbelievable. Urination is the main cause of the punishment in the grave. Urination. People will be tortured in the grave because of urination. So why you drink camel urine? Hmm? Hello? So Allah will not torture you because you rape, you kill, you steal. He will torture you because of urine. Well, what does that mean? You know, I did not read the message you wrote for me. I am illiterate like your prophet. Excuse me. Come back 2,000 years from now. I will learn because now I am process of being a prophet. Angel Jibreel will come and squeeze me three times. 
and no mayonnaise will come out. Have you ever heard of an angel? He did not know how to write, how to read. Yet his God says to him, read. Either your God is a drunk or he do not know that Muhammad do not know how to read. Hello. <clears throat> yes, uh, Hamba, I know, I know. I know, Muhammad, he tried to copy many things from the Bible. Jesus worship Allah as Muslim. He put his face on the floor. Okay, but you hold on, hold on. But you Muslim, you don't put your face on the floor. Do you know how the Jews, they pray? The Jews, they lay down in their face, you idiot. You don't pray like the Jews. You pray like the Hindus. Anyone who live in Asia, he knew how, they, how, how the Buddha specifically, they pray. Actually, first time I attended into a Buddha, with my camera, Buddha temple, I was shocked when I saw how the, the Buddha they pray. It's exactly as the Muslims. You don't pray like the Jews. And let me prove that to you. And that will prove to us that Muhammad is a false prophet again. Once your prophet was doing a funeral, the message of Allah, S A W S F M O O O O, catch up. Mayonnaise used to stand up and for a funeral. Entered the corpse, was placed on the grave. He used what? He used to stand up. So he do it always like this. Until the corpse is placed in the grave. A learned Jew, which means a rabbi, walk by and he said, this is how we do it. What Muhammad did? He said, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. Do you see it? You're a prophet. He's stealing from the Jews. When a Jew, he said to him, this is how we do it. You're a prophet. He said to himself, uh oh, I got busted. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. You know, if he's a prophet of God, he will and he, he pray the same as the Jews. So what the problem? He will say, okay, this is how we do it too, because we worship the same God, bro. No, because he's a fake man. He changed it in a second. Because he's a scam. He got busted. The Jew, the rabbi said to him, this is how we do it. What if Muhammad was doing poo poo when he was sitting down? What the Prophet will do if a Jew he says to him, This is how we do it. Muhammad he will say, Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, act differently. Like, what the heck? Why you don't give like, people? Muslims are giving me this like, you see. Yeah, it says act differently. Exactly. If Muhammad is, is a praying as a prophet of God, that's mean he learned this prayer from God. How you change it in a second just because a Jew, he said, this is how we do it. This is exactly what I'm saying. He said act differently. So when he found that he's praying the same as the Jews, Muhammad, he don't want that. Because that means clearly that he is copying them. So in a blink of an eye, he changed the prayer. How do you do that? If you are a prayer, if you, if you are a prophet of God. That said, this is how my God taught me how to pray it. So what? I'm not going to change it. I'm a prophet of God. But because he's a false prophet, who gave him the authority to change the way to pray? As you see, just because the Jew, he said, he said, this is how we do it. Or, this, or what he said, this is how we do it. So if the Jew, he went inside the mosque and the Muslim praying like they are praying today and he said, this is how we do it. What the Muhammad will say? Lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, act differently. Like what? This is how prophet of God and what they do. Anyway, my friends. Look like we have no Muslims to call us. And as long as the Muslims are not going to call us, I'm going to call myself and act differently. 
I will try tomorrow to be live on air as usual time but today I made it a little bit late so we can have people from Indonesia from Asia and from America uh, but mostly tomorrow we will go afternoon uh, uh, on air so I want to say thank you guys for being here May the Lord hey Sahih Christian how are you my brother guys this is an older friend his name is Sahih Christian this is a wonderful person I know him I don't know how many years if I say 15 16 17 18 years I have no idea you know uh, uh, he used to come every day to my chat room when I was in pal talk and we used to up I used to open my chat for 10 11 12 hours non-stop for tens of years 10 years maybe 10 years 12 years I'm not, I'm not sure so this is was every day in pal talk and we did a lot of a great job uh, a lot of people a lot of people left Islam because of what we did and it's really amazing how the Lord always bless us to meet the good ones the Lord always he will send in your way as long you are going in the right straight correct way he will send the good ones to help you he send help from everywhere you don't know how the help come you will not believe it I don't ask for it it come wonderful people wonder wonderful brothers and sisters and I really I appreciate them and may the Lord bless you all and I hope to see you tomorrow around the 3 30 p.m. as usual and until then we say sit down sit down sit down sit down act differently <laughs> my friend my brothers my sisters there's no name better than his name his name is the Christ his name is unique even Muslim they don't dare to call themselves Christ and nobody can call himself Christ for there's only one Christ for he is Lord for his Lord and he will come in the judgment day and he will judge Muhammad and he will judge me and he will judge you and he will judge every Christian every Hindu every Muslim and you cannot get away from that and even your prophet the prophet of the yellow pages he said that the Messiah will come as a hakaman muqsitan which mean an absolute just and justice and this is in your books and you cannot deny it who will judge Jesus who will be justice Jesus how he can be just and justice and least he is God for no man can be just and no man can be judged for men they are corrupt and men they are sinners and the sinners cannot judge sinners to give absolute justice only Christ his holy name can do it Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you tomorrow around 3 30 p.m. And if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books or to download thousands and thousands and thousands of videos for free I made through years and years of work. Thank you and see you soon again. Take care.